Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today what we're going to go ahead and do is take a look and unbox the Cooler Master Hyper T4 CPU cooler. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with unboxing the Hyper T4. Just have some tape at the top to remove. You know what? I'll just use a knife. I'd rather use a knife. I'm gonna use a knife. There we go. Cut that open, pull this tab. That didn't make it easier at all. Why did I do that? There we go. Alright, pull this off. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, okay. That's not coming out that way. Let's turn it up. Oh, that didn't sound good. There's a lot of noise associated with that move. Oh, hardware rumbling around. Okay, so let me drop that right there. Okay, there it goes. Look at that. Look at that. Nice, and a nice styrofoam packaging. You got the, the copper heat pipes, the fins. That's, those are pretty nice. Let's see, can you guys see that? There it is. Look at that. That's nice. Look at that. Heat pipes don't peel this yet, even though it's already peeled off. Nice. Perfect. Let's go back. Has uh, is this 120 or 140? I don't know. So it has the the fan on the side. There it is. All right. Put that back in. Let's look at the hardware. So um, this this is rated for I think pretty much every single. Uh, there we go. Every single uh, bracket type possible. Okay. Yeah. So LGA 11 or 2011, 1150, through all of that kind of stuff. Um, good installation instructions in so many different languages. That's, that, how many languages? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. More on the back, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 languages. 21 languages. Cooler Master. That, that's, that's impressive, actually. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Warranty information. Uh, user manual. Cool. Alright, so all that's good. Alright. Oh, has some thermal grease in there. That's good to know, as well as the mounting brackets. Um, so, I'll uh, go to some beauty shots of this thing, and we'll read off the, the specs, and you guys can enjoy that. Yes. The Cooler Master Hyper T4 Air CPU cooler contains four direct contact copper heat pipes, a 120 millimeter PWM fan with snap-on brackets for a quick and easy installation. The fan has a variable speed range of between 600 and 1800 RPM and includes anti-vibration rubber pads. The bracketing system included with the T4 is versatile and is compatible with Intel LGA 2011, 1366, 1156, 1155, 1151, 1150, and 775 sockets. In addition to the Intel sockets, it is also compatible with the AMD FM2+, FM2, FM1, AM3+, AM3, and AM2 sockets. For the dimensions of the CPU cooler, with the fan installed, it is 72.5 millimeters wide, 131.6 millimeters deep, and 152.3 millimeters high. So that's it for my overview of the Cooler Master Hyper T4 CPU cooler. You can watch me install it on my system by clicking the card in the top right hand corner when my build guide comes out in a few dates. Uh, and this has been part three of my build guide project where I'm going through the various components, unboxing them, and giving overviews of everything that I'm going to be installing in my system. And then I'm going to culminate that with the build log at the end of it. So subscribe if you want to keep up with my parts that I receive from my system and the overviews of those. You can also check the card again in the top right hand corner for the next for the videos that are coming next in the project and I'll be releasing those every day this week. And with regards to my build guide project, it would not at all be possible without Wootware. I recently made the move overseas to South Africa from the United States and I was worried I wouldn't find a retailer on par with Tiger Direct, NCIX, Amazon, or Newegg, and I'm glad Wootware proved me wrong. 
Wootware is a South African-based computer components retailer. They aim to make it easy for people to buy PC parts online affordably with delivery straight to your door. And I can tell you that out of all the retailers I searched through, Wootware had the cheapest price on each of the components I'm using in the Build Guide project. While there is still a noticeable price difference in, in the parts from their US counterparts, Wootware does their part to keep the prices as low as possible. They do this by making sure there is no credit card surcharge by accepting only EFT payments. This leads to most products being several hundred rand less than leading competitors. Not only do they have phenomenal prices on a wide variety of computer components, but they also have a quick, responsive, and knowledgeable customer support staff that makes the computer purchasing decisions even easier. And in addition to providing computer components, they also offer custom built PC options so you don't have to mess around with building a computer if all you want is an affordable, powerful system that will work as soon as it arrives at your doorstep. So if you're in South Africa, head on over to wootware.co.za to root up your life and check out their immense selection of computer components. And that's it for this video, guys. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you thought it was poop, but leave a comment in the comment section letting me know what I can do to improve future videos. Also, if you're located outside of South Africa, mainly in the US, you can use my Amazon affiliate code down in the video description to purchase the Cooler Master Hyper T4 or any other computer components that you might be using for your, for your build. So that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.